Hello learners, welcome to the audiovisual program on the course titled Poetry, included in second semester Bachelor of Arts in English program. I am Dr. Chanika Roy from the discipline of English, Podmanat Gohai Borwa School of Humanities, Krishnakanta Handik State Open University. This video deals with Unit 11, which is titled Introducing Indian English Poetry. Please note, dear learners, that this is the second part of the video lesson on this unit. In the first part of the video lesson on this unit, we have been acquainted with the idea of Indian English poetry in general, chiefly reflecting on pre-independence Indian English poetry, the poetic output and major themes dealt with by the important poets. In this video, we shall look at the following objectives. Analyze the significance of Indian English poetry in the contemporary literary setup of Indian writing in English and gain an idea of the major poets who contributed towards Indian English poetry after the independence. After independence, the poets who had contributed towards the development of Indian English poetry are Keki and Daruwala, Nisim Ezekiel, Dom Morais, Kamla Das, A.K. Ramanujan, Arun Kolatkar, Arvind Krishna Mehrotra, Jayanta Mahapatra, Adil Jusawala, Vikram Seth, etc., to name a few. It must be noted that, quote, the English poetic tradition came to India on the path laid down by Macaulay's Minute of 1835, trailing clouds of literary glory, unquote, from Mehrotra's A Concise History of Indian Literature in English. Unlike the earlier poetry, which was more dependent on Western themes and was imitative, the poetry after independence was modern in its outlook. With his poetry volumes like A Beginning, Poems, The Brass Serpent, etc., Dom Morais was one of the first poets to have made a mark. His poetry was confessional as well as realistic. One of the most notable Indian poets writing in English is Nisim Ezekiel. Emerging as one of the first poets to have a voice of his own in poetry, Ezekiel wrote in an age when patriotism and nationalism were intensified in the society. However, the poet broke those shackles and focused on urban themes and urban life. He showed the other emerging Indian poets their way through his mass involvement with printing, starting magazines, promoting new poets and so on. The most significant aspect of his poetry is his expression of personal feelings in a diction that is precise and overt. His poems are a record of his struggles to come to terms with his own self. He has authored Several collections like A Time to Change, Sixty Poems, The Unfinished Man, The Exact Name, Hymns in Darkness, and Poster Poems, to name a few. Jayanta Mahapatra was one of the Indian poets who became popular both in India and outside. Winner of many international and national awards, Mahapatra was a teacher of physics. It is significant that he wrote and published poetry at a very later age in his life. Mahapatra's poetry reflects his inner self which is very much rooted in India, more particularly in Orissa. His poetry shows influence of the West, especially the 20th century poets like G. M. Hopkins, Ezra Pound, etc. However, the most important feature of his poetry that distinguishes him or his works from the earlier poets is the diversion of themes. Unlike earlier poetry, his works bear a strong personal voice. Themes like love, lust, discontentment with prevailing customs, vision of Indian nest, reflection of stark realities, etc. mark his poetry as modern. Since his poetry is rooted to the Indian tradition, hence, they are difficult to be read in isolation. His works are chiefly written in a particular social and cultural context. 
He is credited with seven books written in Uriya and twenty books in the English language. It must be noted that he was one of the Indian poets who received Sahitya Academy Award for poetry written in English language. Some of his works are Swayamvara and other poems, Close the Sky Ten by Ten, A Father's Hours, A Reign of Rights, Relationship, etc., to name a few. Kamala Das, another bilingual poet, has contributed greatly to the changing trends in Indian English poetry with her confessional poems. Her poems are an echo of her individuality and an expression of her feminine sensibility. The most notable work by another famous poet, Vikram Seth, is The Golden Gate, published in 1986. Keki and Daruwala's relationship and temple are worth mentioning in the context of modern Indian English poetry. Hence, it can be said that these poets with their originality and confessional mode broke the stereotype and garnered the future of Indian English poetry in a fruitful manner. One of the representative women poets is Eunice D'Souza. Her poetry depicts the Goan way of life with utter sincerity. Her published works are Fix, Women in Dutch Painting, Ways of Belonging, and Selected and New Poems. Her poetic mode is also confessional in tone. What is significant is the way she draws materials from her personal experiences and merges them to a general cause. Her poetic brilliance lies in transporting the readers from a particular to a general context. The language that she uses is colloquial and depicts her emotions vividly. Like Kamala Das, D'Souza also uses poetry as a medium of expression of her inner turmoil and frustration. Known for his poetry collections titled The Striders, Relations, Second Sight, etc., A.K. Ramanujan established himself as one of the finer poets and carved a significant place in Indian English literature. He writes both in Kannada and English. Apart from being a poet, Ramanujan was a translator. It was through his translations from Tamil and Kannada languages to English language that opened up to the readers from the West an idea about Indian sensibilities and provided a fascinating retreat to the traditions of India. Ramanujan's poetry is known for his art of craftsmanship. Poetically, his works are rich in imagery and ironic in tone. His uniqueness lies in his artistic balance, his quest for the self, and the juxtaposition of traditional with the modern. Few of his poems are Love Poem for a Wife, Part 1, The Hindu, Self-Portrait, etc. To conclude, this video familiarized you with the post-independence poets who have contributed a lot towards the growth of Indian English poetry through their experimental attitude and newer techniques. Chief among them are A.K. Rabanujan, Jayanta Mahapatra, Kamala Das, Nisim Ezekiel, etc. to name a few. Here is a list of books which you can refer to in order to acquaint yourself with the idea of Indian English poetry. Thank you.